Okay, so this insurance usually doesn't care, cover things like asbestos and. No, it says in the policy, yeah. Okay. So. Nope, unless it's mandated by the state. Okay. So, okay, so for so residential, it's not it, mandated. Where does it fall if it's fallen under the black water and it's been contaminated in between layers? It doesn't plug in if we don't categorize the water. You don't categorize no, it? No, we do not. No, it's not flooded. That's what flood is. We do not categorize the water. Okay, I might understand. We don't put in tap water, we don't clean and disinfect for tap. We don't do tap three, tap two. We always. You don't clean and disinfect for tap? No, we totally clean and disinfect. We don't oh. categorize the water. So the flood policy is yeah, directed. Because it's already, it's already categorized. It's pre categorized. Right. Siding generally works. Your insulation, 
gravity, so it's all layered to go down, kind of like shingles. Right. When it comes up, it comes up underneath the seams, and unless they work with the seams in between. Okay. And they didn't, because I can see the debris stuck in the seams. Okay. <laughs> you right, know so right? you'll be able to move so, those to the so, um, Yeah. So if you want. So this stand back to I understand house. what you need. Yeah, so then you can see what house we're at, yeah. and then a couple will show them the damage. Yes. Okay. That's why I'm saying if the frame is swollen where the, the doors are sticking, yeah. I'll be able to take pictures and video and show you the frame. Okay. No video, because I can't upload the video oh, that's right. pictures. Yeah. But yeah, I would like to do the doors, so. Just let me know how it goes. I'm not going to go crazy trying to send you information. If something, you've already got something that's working. No, if no. You, if, you can, can, if, if you, definitely the siding, because I have to check, I can't tell the yeah. insurance company. I have to prove it. But, um, and the doors, I'm just waiting for my examiner. You know, yeah. Because yeah. I would like to get those on. Yeah. So. Um, the tile, you said you're not, you don't remove the tile, you just take it. We so. paint it, we paint it, we disinfect it, we re and seal. But we are not replacing tile on the slab. Well, it's terrazzo floor, so it won't go through. They should put the contents, they should put the carpet under contents. Put the carpet I, under contents? Because then I can pay for cleaning and polishing the terrazzo. Okay. Double dip, okay. On, double dip on the floors. Got it. On that. Got it. All right. So I'll make sure they put the carpet on contents. Yeah. Well, I'll have, I have the measurements, so I'll put, I can put it on there. Maybe the carpet and pad. That will go under contents and then the cleaning and polishing the terrazzo. Now, while we're on contents, mm -hmm. okay. So we got another 12 inches of rain coming, and I don't like putting stuff in a pod that's close together up here during the summer because it sweats. Okay? So rather than, I've already talked to them, rather than having an inventory company coming in here and inventory everything and charge you guys for all that it's stuff. It's not covered anyway. There's not, yeah. So there's not a whole lot of stuff. We got the microwave, we got stuff on the walls, TV, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So you know, not doing anything with this microwave. Water didn't touch it, not touching oh, okay. it. We don't cover yeah. pods. We don't cover, we don't cover any storage. Come in. We don't cover storage. Okay. Uh, we don't cover that. No, it's not right. covered. That's all indirect right. loss. So anything we're only gonna cover contents for what the water touch. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out the difference between you guys and FEMA and insurance. <laughs> well, insurance will do different things. It's yeah, I know. I know. But, but so. there's no pack out, none of that it's, it's direct physical damage by flood real for whatever content got touched by the water. Yeah. Provided Just directly stuff. related stuff. Right. And it has to be a physical change in the auto. Right? Okay. So obviously we're gonna have that, you know, sometimes we get real wood, you know, that people wanna have refinished, but I don't see that here, you know. No. Not no. like like antique kind of stuff. No. But we're not yeah, the microwave I shouldn't have anything. Okay, well, and that's it, like none of the appliances, so there, anything they need to store anywhere, they need to, that's they on need that. to store. Okay, okay. That's totally on that. Simple, simple. Yeah. Because um, I'm going to get the shutters, I'm going to get everything out of harm's way. You know, there's not a whole lot of cabinets, so I'll probably take them down so I can paint and, and texture and all that stuff. That's and not have to worry about getting dusty covering for, six, you know, three months, whatever it is. That's an expensive one. I got it. Home I got it. Yeah. yeah. Do they know that they're going to be paying for that stuff? Because I don't want them to be on the no, impression. No, I got it. They will not be on the floodplain. I got it. Okay. Yep, yep. You know, um, and that includes, so we go like, oh, you want plastic. You guys don't have to cover protect okay. because other. Okay. And now, we don't bag. We're not bagging either. I heard you mention bagging. We're not bagging. We only bag if I have a flood in one area and I can't get out of the house. You know, I have to drag the wet material. So say I was here and there was no road, there was no door or something, and I had to drag the wet material through the house to get out of the door, then I bag. There is no bagging. So if you bag, that's your cost. So I just want to make sure okay. we're clear. Because well, I mean, that's what I was saying because with the, the drywall, like yeah, shovel, yeah, it's not like shovel load. Yeah. And with right, the rain coming, exactly. I'm not going to sit it out on the curb and have it wash into the water. Right? So even though you guys aren't paying for it, yeah. I'm not going to. This is my state. <laughs> no, no, I'm a fifth generation Floridian. Don't okay. trash my state. Yeah. No. I just. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. Well, my policy. Know. My policy. You guys aren't. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, as far as I can tell, okay, and I'm not the electrician guy, just like I'm not the adjuster. <laughs> okay. As far as I can tell, this all meets code. Looks like they got outlets every so many feet. They got one dial and all that kind of stuff. The only thing that I think might happen was depending on how they wired the outlets between the GFIs and all that stuff and the bridges they make. So there may be some bridges here and there. Okay. So not knowing how you guys take it, am I able to submit the electrician's bill to you guys? You can, but it has to be itemized, but I'm only doing the lower outlets. We don't okay. cover any kind of code upgrades. So no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Code yeah. upgrades, I don't think yeah. they're going to be a problem. But I'm going to write the estimate. Okay. And it would have to be a paid receipt. We don't write off other people's estimates. Yeah, yeah I, get it. I get it. So if they have a receipt, you know, for the outlets. Well, what 
what I'm going to look at is I'm going to call the electrician in. I'm going to give him an estimate because I'm going to have him. So I'm, the first step for me with the electrician is to have him come out here and give me some outlets that I can work with. Okay. okay. Um, we've been able to get around that as an emergency, thankfully, because the air conditioning system is running, okay. and we were able to get this stabilized without dehumidifiers and all that craziness. Okay. okay. So I'm not worried about drying this out. It's kind of cleaned anyway. Okay. 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 I don't want to dry out your garbage, so I have to spend money drying out your garbage. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. um, you'd be crazy. You'd be, you'd be amazed. Um, but I am going to have him go ahead and clean out the system because I'm using it instead of salt water. Yeah, it's got some yeah, salt there. Salt. salt water probably not. Yeah, what you choose to do and what you share okay. with the homeowner, um, I'm not going to work off of his estimate, though. So if you send me an estimate, it's not going to No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to get him to, he's going to set me up with some temporary electric, okay? And I'm going to get an estimate for him. And what we're going to do, but we may have to get into some of, if they're bridged in, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. In the upper outlets, okay? Right. Then during the process of installing the lower outlets in order to get the bridge in, guys cover what it takes to get from A to B? No, it's indirect water. You indirect cover the water. outlets, the box, the run, and it's 20 feet of wire. And 20 feet of wire. You can't exactly make the software we use. Uh -huh. the, the outlet is the ELE 110. Uh -huh. So it's the box, the outlet, the run. Okay. The run is 20 feet of wire. For each outlet? For each outlet. There'll be more wire. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so we're not doing anything indirect that may be needed. I got it. I got it. Okay. okay. So the 20 feet of wiring, I may not need all for every one, but I can move from one to fix the other if I run. Because yeah. I want to be able to talk to them and separate my apples from their well, oranges. Well, we can share that I, the adjuster is recommending every outlet in the phone to be yeah. addressed. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, including okay. the wiring, the outlet, the box, the rug. Okay, and then just the lower key. Well, I already get that. Um, and you have them right. counted? So as you, okay. okay. So, yeah. No leopards. We don't care about matching. We didn't water didn't touch. No, it. I understand. Yeah. Just direct. Well, the, the only thing I'm thinking is, is the, the size of the countertops and what you're glued in. Typically, I'd probably call a cabinet guy or a, a countertop guy to come and take this off and wrap it so that it doesn't get broken while it's you know, sitting somewhere. You guys probably won't cover that, though, right? No, we are just a detach and reset. Yeah, because you're not paying to store it anyway. So. Um, and this whole unit there, That's because it's one unit, the whole thing is covered. Well, because it's like, it's just yeah. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, so if this thing breaks, they better write down. Seat. Yeah, then we have to submit a supplement and fingers crossed. Well, I've yep. been doing it a long time, yep. but I know where the problems run into. Yeah, and and I don't know how well they glued or welded those breaks in. Right. Yeah. So. Is there one in front of the sink or is that just a, a shadow that I'm seeing? No, um, no. Let me see. No, no, no. It's something that's happening. Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Something's in there. Let me get it all apart. We're going to need a letter from the contractor. And that would be kind of like a supplement. Yep, I understand. And if the if it does happen, make sure the contractor writes down that he took every the effort possible. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. so every effort possible, yeah. you know, that you know, all efforts were made to try to cut, remove them with, with caution. However, during the process, you know, due yep. to the glue and the And we'll glue, take pictures. You'll see where the glue grabbed part of it or to okay. broke it off uneven or something like that. Okay. And here's the thing. I won't throw anything in detail. I won't throw anything away until after you and the homeowner have gotten into an agreement on whatever it is. Okay. And then I'm either dealing with that or I'm helping you, whatever it is okay. I need to do. Okay. So I know how to stay out of the. And on sorry, my, like the photos. I guess see just a couple of each room, just you know, because I mean, I, I did take a picture of those bifold, the, the bypass doors, but just maybe a picture, just showing what the room looked like, so I can see the furniture in yeah. it, you know, and tables, furniture, yeah. the doors. You know, that's really all I need, just one or two. Yeah, I'll we'll separate them soon too. Okay, because yeah. that way when the insurance company goes through the con count list, yeah. they can refer to yeah. the room and say that's in there. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, and, and generally what we start out with is corner to corner. Yeah, that's what I do. So you got yeah, the overview, yeah. Okay. So you'll have that. We left a couple of little Easter eggs here and there, like in cabinets and all, so you can see the water filled the pan. Or, oh, yeah. I don't yeah, know no, if you can I see that. that. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of water, so yeah. that's why I... Oh, um, the shower. So you see the bladder over there? Yeah, I heard okay. you. I just heard it's you. underneath that. It's underneath that bladder. It's that bladder is actually full of water, so it's under the shower. Thing. So let me take a photo, because we typically haven't done any pans. Got it, got it. So, I, but I did hear you. Yeah. And you can oh, see yeah. where it's kind of sweating. Yeah. See where it's sweating around the stuff and it's keeping the wood a little bit wet. But yeah, bladder filled up with water. Yeah, I have 424 photos, so I'll make sure not to send you all those. Uh -huh. We'll just send 420. Um, <laughs> what, we'll do, yeah, what we'll do is uh, we've got company cam. Okay. What we'll do is we'll send you a link to the photos in company cam. And then if you've got photos you don't want to take or if you want to look at a video but not take it, 
what you'll have is a link to Company Cam. You can see everything that we've given you access to, and you can take anything off of it. That you want to take off. Also, you guys to see as we continue taking photos too. Huh? You should also be able to see the photos as we continue taking. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy just to have a photo just for it looks like beforehand. Okay. And I'll see everything. That's just fine. Now, if there's something that's in boxes that you guys found or, or things that were taken out of these bottom drawers, that I would need. But um, I, don't, I mean, I don't think I need to do We didn't take, yeah, we really didn't take any out of bottom drawers. There are a few blankets and towels and that kind of stuff okay. that, you know, render. Um, the bag with the blanket in it that was in that chest. Yeah. 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 So, everything, all that kind of stuff. I mean, there's a few things over there. But the uh, same thing, they've got, I'm waiting for them. Because they said they got receipts for everything, they just put this place together okay. and they bought and they paid for everything. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna, I've got your form. I'm gonna put a list of the inventory on there. Okay. I'm gonna have their receipt, receipt number one, try to match item number okay. one. And okay. when you don't try, don't try printing that form. That Excel spreadsheet is huge. Don't print it. So <laughs> okay. I would have them write it on on paper, and then okay. once you get it on paper, I send that so people can see the kind of stuff they need to get. So I just don't want people to start throwing things away. I want them to know that, that I need yeah. that. Yeah. Then I need to know what the item is, how much does it cost, how old it is, and if it's an electronic, a tool, a washer, dryer, we need a serial number. Okay. Um, I got all these, but you know, okay. the other stuff, like if there was a kitchen appliance, it's a crock pot, a toaster, stick, like uh, they need serial number. So okay. it's easier just to have everything kind of written out yeah. and then transfer to that list. Okay. Because then I have to go in. Transfer it electronically and that way it just stays Yeah, exactly. and then I have to edit each line item and then I have to copy and paste it into another Excel spreadsheet. Okay. So I just have that on there. It's big. So an Excel sheet? Is that I, I made an Excel sheet, but then it goes into a different Excel sheet because then it, it has to be it has to be edited, depreciated. I got it. Um, if things are close to over, like getting if we're getting up to a thousand dollars and definitely over, yeah. then we need either a receipt or if people don't have a receipt, just go to the internet, find something comparable. Yeah. Most most of the stuff is on the internet where you look. Okay. Just, yeah, just need something easy. to show the insurance company. Like this yeah. is very similar. This is where we're getting the price from, and you know as long as we show something to support what why we're listing. We are, it's not an issue. Got it. Well, they said they got most of the stuff on Amazon. And okay. they're, 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 what I'm hearing is, I think we're almost 100%. What I'm thinking is maybe 90. Okay. <laughs> you know? okay. Um, and then, like I said, for, for anything that came with the house, whether or not the appliances did or not, I don't know. Okay. But um, I'm going to go through that list with them. Okay. And then what we'll have is everything they got a receipt for and everything they don't. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it's, I mean, no one, the okay. insurance company's not expecting the homeowner to have receipts for everything. Nowadays, you can take a picture online. And we're just going to make it yeah. as easy as we yeah. can for everybody. Okay. I understand all the things everybody's going through, so the easier I can make it, the faster. Yeah, I'm going to no, I can sure. I want to be able to send you something, and you know this can be organized enough that you can get to it and get through it, and, yeah. and not organizing the contents is probably the the that's the thing. Content tends to take the longest. Okay. You know, the building's not. In the Imagine shape. if you had those piles that people got. It's <laughs> right. Until you really, yeah. really yeah. oh my god. I'm going to take more photos. <laughs> so. Man. Um, no, we're not going to do anything with the air conditioning. No, no, yeah. it's just the compressor. Just the outside, outside. unit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because it's up in the attic, it's not in the water. Yeah. Again, we're only dealing with directly with water related. I know. What about the dock? Time. That's no. brand new. Not so covered. dock down not covered. The flood policy is a dwelling policy, so okay. it's on the physical dwelling. Yep, okay. We don't cover fences, pools, pool equipment, docks, mm -hmm. bulkheads, um, nothing outside the perimeter walls. Okay. I mean, the condenser is outside the perimeter wall, however, it feeds it's across. Right. Okay. And I have the electrical outlets. So did that one catch on fire? In yes. Yeah. When okay. the power yeah. went back on. Okay. Uh, and I got two over here. So okay. I found it with the junction boxes. So I counted that. Okay. Um, you draw for outside of the outlets? Yeah. There's one out on this one side. One on that side, too. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, yes, yeah, she's got the garage door. She said the garage door. Well, I, I, I didn't see the answer to the garage door. I got the garage door sensors. It's oh, something panel. bent the, the top yeah, with the, uh, the drive frame. Yeah, that's how it's So if the garage door was there, the stuff was floating around. Okay. So I looked at the bottom. That golf cart yeah. might have floated up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the lift mechanism. Well, we shall see. Well, there you go. They're they're almost exactly halfway between Phoenix and. Uh, oh. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not sure exactly.